In 10th place I put teleport access. Why? Because this will be very useful teleport access can speed you up to certain islands. Without you using light fruit, portals and even using boats, the location of this teleport access is only in 3 locations. Namely Hydra Island, Castle on the Sea, Floating Turtle. You can get this teleport access when you have defeated RIP underscore Indra bosses. Acidum Rifle is a gun that you can get from the factory. The drop chance is 20%. This gun has high damage and this gun is good for PvP. Cabbager is a legendary gun that you can get by exchanging your 1500 fragments. This gun is great for combos with fruit or swords, and of course this gun is good for PvP or bounty hunting. Swan glasses is accessories that you can get by defeating Don Swan bosses. The drop chance is 2.5%. These accessories is accessories that you can get in the second C and the best accessories in the second C. This accessory will give you a buff. 8% damage, 8% defense against attacks, 8% attack cooldown reduction, 25% movement speed, 250 energy and 250 health. Pale Scarf is a legendary accessory that you can get after defeating Cake Prince bosses. The drop chance is 100%. If you don't have a dark coat maybe a Pale Scarf is the solution. Because this accessory has a big drop chance and you can definitely get it. Even though defeating the bosses is difficult. This accessory will give you a buff. 15% more damage on Black's Fruit. And sword attacks, 2 extra observation dodges, and 10 times larger observation vision range. Soul Guitar is a mythical gun in Black's Fruits. This gun has high damage, very good for PvP, but this gun can be obtained if your level is 2300. Race is also very important and very useful if it is upgraded. Yes because each race has its own advantages. For example like I use Race Angel. Because my race has been upgraded to V3, I can get additional skills. With this skill I can increase my health if my health is reduced. Godhuman is a fighting style that has high damage. This fighting style is good for grinding and also good for PvP. And this fighting style is an upgraded version of Superhuman. Electric Claw is a very good fighting style for grinding, for PvP or bounty hunting. And it's also very good for Buddha users. You must also have someone who uses this fighting style or you often see this fighting style. Yes because this fighting style is suitable for everything. And that's why I put it in second place. Cursed Dual Katana is a mythical sword in Black's Fruits. This sword is very difficult to get, because you have to have two swords first, namely Yammer and Tushita, and of course you know how hard it is to get these two swords. So, that's all guys, what do you think, other things, that must be obtained in Black's Fruits? Don't forget to leave a comment below, thanks for watching. Call me now.